Hey everybody, it's the interview queen Alicia Atute here, and to my right I have the lovely Sarah Tiana. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining me. I'm really excited about oh, this. Oh, good. <laughs> like super stoked. Okay. I heard about you for a long time. First time I saw you was Roast Battle. Oh, yes. And you just like stole my heart. Oh, that's nice. Like the most cutthroat things, ironically. Yeah. But, oh, mm -hmm. you were just so killer on it. People don't see them coming, you know? I think that's kind <laughs> of like the beauty of it is I actually don't really see them coming either. Like I know that they're evil to say, but I can't ever say anything with like some sort of like edgy voice or anything. It's always it just, just going to come out of my southern belle mouth, so <laughs> maybe it's worse. Well, you're so cheeky, but it's self-deprecating at the same time. Oh, yeah. and, like A lot of it is really relatable, too. <laughs> and, I don't know. It just it really connected with me. So I was wondering, have you always kind of had that quick wit, or did it come with just kind of putting yourself out there and it grew on you? You know, I have always been really sarcastic. Um, so I didn't know I was funny until I moved to Los Angeles because the South doesn't understand sarcasm. <laughs> so my whole life I was always making fun of people because they were always making fun of me and like that's the essence of friendship, right? Like yep. if I can make fun of you and you can make fun of me, that means we're friends. And so people would always laugh at what I said but they'd be like, that's not funny, that's not funny. So I just heard like that's not funny. I never took it that way and then I, I always enjoyed writing roast jokes, had never thought of saying them myself. And like, in fact, when they kept asking me to roast, I was like, no, 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 I don't think I'm the right kind of person for this. And then it turned out like it was okay. I was yes. okay. <laughs> yeah, apparently, yeah. Well, I had Dolph on the show, and mm -hmm. of course we were at Ziggler's comedy tour tonight in Toronto, and he said that he loves whenever you guys are together on the same show because yeah. you just go at it completely. Yeah. No, it never stops. I have a lot of jokes that I didn't say during our roast battle that I usually talk of, or that I perform at these shows in front of the fans because usually they know the history and they know how long of our friendship has been. Yeah. And, and I think also, like, he just loves the jokes and he loves making... We, we just have always had that brother-sister vibe of, like, I'm going to make fun of you nonstop <laughs> because you're a ridiculous human being and then he thinks very equally of me. So it's like this, like... It's a win-win, right? It's a win-win, yeah. So we, we, we enjoy it. And I think my ultimate goal whenever I'm roasting is always to impress you with the joke. Like, I want you to admire the joke. I don't yeah. want you to be hurt by it. I want you to wish that you had written it about yourself. And there's such a fine line between hurting someone being yes. too mean and then having something that's written perfectly to the point where it's a jab, but it's not a stab, you know? So right, no, yeah, how, yeah. How do you write that, that fine line? Oh, I think uh, it's, uh, it's knowing enough about the person and doing the, a proper amount of research, but also just trying to find a clever way of saying something as opposed to just a derogatory or mean thing, you know. I think a lot of comedy sometimes survives on low-hanging fruit, yeah. and I tried to pride myself on not eating from that tree. <laughs> Yeah. I love that outlook because it is true. You see a lot of people attempt comedy or attempt to roast mm -hmm. like like their first time. Yeah. And uh, you can tell that they aren't seasoned because it's just, it's hurtful. Well, it's also like, uh, I feel like so many times roast jokes about me are like about me being a whore or something. And like yeah. if you knew, if you did one ounce of research, you would find out that like my list of sexual partners is like, <laughs> you know, shorter than Dustin Pedroia, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like a very short list. So there's no room for those. Like, those are just easy. You're just making girl jokes at yeah. that point. You're like, and I, I feel like if you did a little bit of research, you could find other things about oh, me that definitely. are like not flattering. It's weird you mention that because that's literally one of the go-tos with you. Yeah. It's like, so oh, it's, you'll sit down on the couch people and people literally will just go straight to that. Right away. Right away. Yeah. I mean, just on David Spade the other night. And yeah. I'm like, you guys, like... <laughs> You know that I'm not like that, but fine, yeah. you know, I mean, if that makes you feel better as a human being to say that, then that's fine, but I'm just going to have a, a different joke to come back at you with. Well, that's the thing, you hit the back really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, I always think about comedians, and I think to myself, I have no idea how you guys are always just ready for it. Well, that's the other thing, is like, I feel like if anybody is going to roast me, then they should know better, because I'm very prepared for you to say something like that. Because mm -hmm. if, if I know you're going to say something dumb, and like easy, I'm gonna make sure I attack you for being dumb <laughs> and easy, you know? A lot of roasters have that chemistry with the person they're roasting, just right. like you and Dolph, where you have the chemistry and you can say, all right, I know what I'm going to do, but do you like roasting people when it's almost like, oh, you're in the audience, I can see you and I can just make a joke about uh, you right away? No, I don't really do that. I'm not really like a, a looks-based roaster. I really need to know something more about you. Like, I'm not just gonna make fun of the way you look. Yeah. 
I'd rather make fun of who you are. Okay. <laughs> and that hurts even harder. I feel like that's a deeper cut. Oh, definitely. Yeah. But I also want you to know that I've like worked on it, you know? Like, I'm not just going to do lazy jokes. I want you to know that I put in the work yeah. and the time to impress you with what I've written. Oh, it definitely shows when I watch your stuff. <laughs> oh, I think, like, because you see the surprise on their, on their face. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. oh, she goes deep on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cuts. Yeah, well, the wrestling music has started because not only is yeah. it comedy tonight, it is wrestling. It is so wrestling. to finish things here, I want to ask if you could have a persona uh -huh. in wrestling at the ring, oh. what would yours be? Oh my gosh, a persona. I mean, I feel like I would definitely be Becky Lynch because I want people to think of me as the man. <laughs> <laughs> the man, Sarah Diano, joining me right here. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure having you Thank on. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Everybody,